You know, we're here as an educational institution, uh, and it is important to have up-to-date, modern facilities to train our engineers and other students. This sesquicentennial hall will replace Ottensman Hall that's over 60 years old. In, in large part, it's not flexible enough and doesn't have modern equipment in it. So the, the next several generations of engineers will have the benefit of an up-to-date modern facility. An another aspect is that it will increase our capacity by 800 new students and 200 transfer students every year. Uh, given the, the tremendous need for engineers and, and other uh, folks involved in STEM fields, this is real important to our longer term uh, needs. Well, I have a message for the people who advocated and supported this project. Community leaders, business and industry, representatives uh, Trannel and Novak and, and, and Senator Markline, all had a tremendous impact on whether or not these projects were approved. So they have my sincere thank you and uh, the gratefulness of this whole campus for the way all the pioneers came through to uh, describe the urgency of the need of this project and wrote letters, made phone calls, appeared at joint finance committee meetings. All of those contributed to this very successful effort to convince the legislature and the governor of the importance of these projects. So this effort, this energy by all of the people connected to this university is another reason why every day is a great day to be a pioneer.